Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Elite Nurse Lifestyle, where we discuss all things fashion, most importantly, fragrances. And so guys, I know I've been MIA, however, I do have two active school age children who, um, you know, I've had to um, oversee their, um, their work in school, things like that, on top of doing my regular job as a nurse. And so I've been quite busy. However, I figured I would just hop on really quickly and review this fragrance that I've had for over two months now. And the fragrance is Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. And so guys, if you are familiar with this house, you know that their, um, their fragrances are usually, um, you know, it packs a punch for the most part, right? And so I've been wanting this fragrance and I was just so happy when I was able to get it. And um, this fragrance was launched in 2015. It is a woodsy, um, oriental, um, very sultry fragrance. And um, it is heavy. So um, I would say if, you know, it would be more geared towards cooler months. However, I typically just go by my mood, how I am feeling. So if I feel in the summertime to wear this fragrance, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And so uh, guys, let's get into uh, what the fragrance looks like. And so it comes in this box right here. Satin Mood. And the box has the logo there. That's the bottom. And the back looks like this. All right, and when you open it up, You, it has a tab right here, and so you pull that and you take it out of the box. And it sits in the case like that. And uh, you take this out, and this is what it looks like, guys. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. Huh. There we go. Mood satin mood, right? And it has the logo again at the top right there. Um, that's the bottom. I don't know what's going on with my... Th this camera has three... It, this phone has three cameras and you would think I'd be able to get a better focus on it, right? Um, so, all right guys, so the notes in this fragrance, right? So, like I mentioned before, it's a woodsy oriental fragrance, and um, so it has notes of agarwood, which is also oud, but I believe it's from um, a different part of the tree. So, I believe it's from the bark of the tree, and so there's agarwood in this, there's Turkish rose, um, I believe Bulgarian rose, also some benzoin, um, as well as some um, uh, vanilla notes and I think it's violet, violet accords. So um, with that said, this fragrance, guys, I it's, it's powdery, okay? Usually I find that benzoin would typically, when I see it in scents, it tends to give like a powdery essence. And um, this one, it's, it's definitely powdery and so if you don't like uh, powdery fragrances this one may not be for you but I knew I would just love it because to me um, Grand Soir was also powdery and um, you know I fell right in love with it but this one it's just very sultry um, it you know it's gonna last long it lasts for about eight hours eight ten hours on my skin and um, it has a huge projection, so you're not going to typically need to do, well, I love to do a lot of sprays, so about two, three sprays, maybe four, <laughs> would be 
you know, more than sufficient for this fragrance um, because it does pack a punch. You know, it's pretty heavy. And so you're going to get that whole projection in sillage and, you know, the scent bubble and um, things like that. So if I were to rate the fragrance packaging, I would say it's a, probably a four, um, you know, because it's not really, it's, it's nice, but it's not like it's anything over the top, right? And so I would give it a four. Um, I mentioned more geared towards, as far as season, when to wear it, more towards the cooler months. And it's just because it's so heavy. But you know, guys, it's your fragrance. You can wear it whenever you please, right? Um, if you're gonna do summer, I would, would say to do it maybe in the night time when it's a little bit cooler. Uh, sillage, I mentioned, you know, you're gonna, it's like, five out of five for sillage and projection and, and scent bubble, things like that, right? And so guys, if you have any experience with this fragrance, let me know how you like it. If you if you prefer this one over Grand Soir or, you know, which is your favorite? Is there another fragrance from this house from Mason Francis Kirkjohn? Is there another fragrance that you like? Um, just leave me a comment in the notes section. I enjoy your comments. I read them all the time, even the not so nice ones. <laughs> and, um, you know, because it's, it just opens for conversation, you know, so um, I really enjoy when you guys comment and like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I keep saying I'm gonna do a giveaway and I'm gonna do a separate video when I get some time and, um, you know, tell you what that entails. So guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.